Skin cancer is where the DNA, the genetic material inside cells, changes. And in doing so, it causes uh, an alteration in how the cells behave so that they then increase in size and number and a tumour develops. Most skin cancers affect the top layer of skin, the epidermis, and there are three main cells there that give rise to skin cancer. The keratinocytes, which are the skin barrier form, and they produce a skin cancer called squamous cell carcinoma if they're affected. The second is the pigment cells, the melanocytes, and if they are affected by uh, skin cancer, melanoma develops. And the third type of skin cancer, which is actually very common, um, is basal cell carcinoma, and this is where the basal cells that sit at the junction between the top layer of skin and the bottom layer of skin become affected. The main cause for the development of skin cancers is our exposure to ultraviolet radiation. So if we're able to adjust our exposure, we can reduce our risk. So simple things with regarding not uh, adopting a sun-seeking behaviour. So to seek shade over the midday period between 11 and 3, not to actively sunbathe, and not to use sun, uh, sunbeds in particular. These are very important things to do. The people who are most susceptible to developing skin cancer are people of a Celtic type skin. So typically fair-skinned people with freckles who never tan, who always burn. However, skin cancer can affect all skin types. Skin cancer can look in a number of ways. And it firstly, it depends on what type of cell that has changed to become the skin cancer. So if it's the melanocytes that are affected by cancer, you will have an enlarging mold or area of pigmentation that will change in color and shape and size. If it's the keratinocytes, you find that you develop a, a change in, in the skin thickness. Often a scaly uh, lump will develop on the skin surface. And if it's the basal cells, you typically find a sore that doesn't heal, an area of skin that is very fragile and easily bleeds. Skin cancer is diagnosed typically clinically, which is uh, by seeing somebody who's used to examining the skin and diagnosing skin cancer. We also have special devices and techniques in, uh, as a dermatologist that allow us to see greater detail in the skin, which can help to actually make a diagnosis. Not all forms of skin cancer are life-threatening. However, melanoma is the most serious form of skin cancer because we don't have good treatments for it once it has spread. Squamous cell carcinoma is another form of skin cancer where the keratinocytes are affected and that too has the potential to spread. Basal cell carcinoma, which is the third type of skin cancer but actually more common than the other two skin cancers put together, fortunately doesn't have the ability to spread and this is therefore easily treated. The treatment of skin cancer will depend upon the type of skin cancer that has developed. It will depend on a number of factors. Firstly, the type of skin cancer. Secondly, where it is on the patient. Um, and we have to take into consideration other factors associated with, with individuals. But the main treatment for skin cancer would be a simple surgical excision, where the skin cancer is removed. We would just take a small amount of skin to actually remove the actual skin cancer itself. The skin would be sewn together with stitches. The chances of problems are tiny.